This video is part of the salvation series and in this video I will cover that salvation is received by faith alone in the shed blood of Christ alone. In Romans 3.25 we read, whom God had set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins. Romans 5.9 Much more then, being justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. And Colossians 1.14 In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Can you see that us having faith that Jesus' blood was full atonement for our sins and believing that he covered them all is a huge demonstration of our faith. When we believe on Jesus for the forgiveness of all of our sins, all past, present and future sins, and we never worry about sins again, whether we are good enough, whether we confess them all, we are then secure in our salvation. We have been set free from the worry of losing our salvation. We are completely trusting God that his word is true concerning our place in heaven. You really think God is going to shake his head and say, sorry, you never apologized for that sin you did 42 years ago, or you missed that sin you did the week before you died. Not at all. We believe that Jesus paid the price for all of our sins with his precious blood that he shed and we stand on that. Salvation is easy folks, it's man that has complicated it. The good news is, for the believer in Christ, every sin that we can do in our lifetime has already been forgiven. In fact, all past, present and future sins for each person in the world has already been paid for, including non-believers. Obviously, only believers in Christ will receive that payment to their account when they believe and accept the gospel, which is found in 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4. How that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. If you're not saved, get saved today. What must you do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Don't forget to look out for the next installment of this salvation series.